You ready? I was born ready. All right, hello everybody. Welcome back to Print Pair Pelt. This is Lindsay. You're just gonna laugh, aren't you? <laughs> this is Lindsay. Um, this is just gonna be comedy, I know it. Um, today we are doing another Halloween tutorial. <laughs> Do tutorial. We're gonna be doing a slash face type thing, which should be quite easy, I say, to replicate. And so yeah, don't forget to subscribe and like. Yep, absolutely. And let's get started. I'm going to create some wounds with my Nose and Scar Wax by Ben Nye. This is going to sort of create the raised skin. This is the easiest way to do it, I think. So if you can get some wax, this is like super easy. Okay, so you just need to get some out of the pot and sit there and roll it and get it all soft and supple so that you can apply it to the skin. <laughs> So that was pretty quick. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just needs to be a bit jagged and yucky. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop on a bit of a black background within, within the wound so that I can then fill it with um, a dark red. And I just wanna make it look quite deep and cavernous. So I'm literally just gonna use some Maybelline um, eyeliner. Please excuse the wax on the hands. Um, just to fill the wound. Right, so now I'm just gonna take a little bit of wound filler. Um, this is a sort of, I think it's basically like a sugar-based um, uh, blood concoction. So you could probably make some yourself with just some fake blood. And um, it's a bit like jelly, and I'm just gonna fill her wound with that. Every time, yeah. Okay, so what I want to do is just take a little bit of fake blood um, and just sort of dab it around and create some sort of bruising and maybe some like broken capillaries and stuff and just make it look a little bit more raw. Um, so I'm going to use my um, blood spray. You can use any fake blood that you've got. I used some the other day from Tesco, which was like a pound and it was really cheap and awesome. And this one's a proper special effects one, but you go with what you have. I'm going to apply it with a sponge. Okay, so I totally don't like that color. <laughs> so I'm gonna take a little bit of that wound filler again, which was a darker red, and I think I'm gonna apply that over it because I think it gives a deeper sort of fake blood. So this is what happens when you don't try things out before, but it's fine. Yeah, that's better. I'm actually gonna go back to that fake blood I used from Tesco the other day because that stuff is really good and um, apply some dripping blood to her face. This was a pound and it would work much better. That's it guys, that was 
super easy. That didn't take very long at all, did it? I, it was actually the wax that took the longest because I'm sweaty. Um, <laughs> you welcome. Thank you. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to subscribe and like and check out my other Halloween tutorials and um, we'll see you in the next video. Bye! Yeah. I'm off to do the school run. Yeah. <laughs>